normally you'd be absolutely delighted with a four one win. I'm I still am. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. But we have to see um, uh, how much it costs us. We don't know the debt. Um, Curtis got a, a knock a little bit below uh, on the lower part of his chin, or above the ankle. We will see what that means. That was what he felt, but he wasn't one hundred percent sure. Um, that Curtis, Curtis cannot play on tells you that it must be something because he would have played on with uh, all costs. Actually, Jogo looks probably the worst. I didn't see it back, but I heard that it, the pictures didn't look great um, as well. So we have to see there. And um, Darwin, we had to take, or we want, we took off because he said he feels un poco, really little. But that was obviously today enough to immediately push the break, and that's what we did. So I took him off. I brought Cody, so that worked out really well. Um, yeah, that's not great. So we can talk about that part of the game. That's really not good. We, but we have we cannot change that anymore. And we can talk about uh, the other part because probably um, all the thoughts you might have had in these situations, the players could have had as well and could have performance level could have dropped or whatever. But it was the other way around. We played an exceptional game, by far the best game since I'm at Liverpool here at Brentford, by far. Uh, dealing with all the the specific. Um, situations they create um, and being as dominant as you can somehow be, be calm in the right moments, be direct in the right moments, use their man marking, play against the line and all these kind of things. So there I saw a top game, honestly. The first, obviously the first 10, 15 minutes, I don't know exactly. They had these counter attacks and they looked really good. I, I liked it as well when, when Tony Mopa and they're gone. Uh, we had to adapt our protection, obviously, in these moments. Um, did that, then that was gone. But the set piece were still there. If you see the stats, we, we committed 18 fouls the day four. So there's something that seems not to be right there. <laughs> um, and that's it. Very good game in strange circumstances, um, but um, we are still really happy with the result. I don't know, not surprised about that. To be honest, more played the first game for weeks, months, I'm not sure. I think could have had a hat trick. Eh? Uh, <laughs> I don't know the first one. Lucho kicks the ball against his right foot or whatever, and then the other one, he, yeah, more usually finished it off, but the goal he scored was absolutely outstanding. Uh, well, they all play good, they all are good players. We have just to make sure Cody's goal was absolutely outstanding as well, so it's really. It's it's it. That's all cool. But, you know, you you can count as well the games coming up. So it would be helpful if we have a bit more than one for each position. Um, and um, we have to see how we deal with that now. But it's it's all fine. We, we, we that's the situation. We cannot change that. Cannot remember one day since I'm in where it was like easy, no problems at all, or something like that. So we have problems. Probably we don't know exactly how big they are, but we well, we have them. But as long as we have 11 players, we will, we will go for it. And the next one is on Wednesday, and then on, in the next press conference, do I have a press conference before Luton? We don't do that today. Sure. So then people will tell me, um, yeah, and the weekend is a final, what will you think about that? And uh, you, maybe you save that question for somebody else, um, that I don't get angry. Because we cannot think about it. It's just not that we have to play Luton. They deserve and will get all our attention and respect. And after that, we will see how we can play the next game. Can I just clarify, sorry, that, that uh, Curtis Jones is on, on crutches as well? Yeah, but that, it's normal. I didn't speak to him. I don't have time. I would more or less get carried around um, here in the stadium to have interviews and stuff like this. So um, I, I don't know how it developed during the second half because as I'm in half time, it was all right-ish. Um, but I don't know what happened since then. Yeah, I can't imagine how tough the last few weeks have been for Connor Bradley. To come back in a side and perform like that, you must be incredibly proud of the young man. I am. I'm over the moon about him. Yes, you're right. Pretty special. Very, very special. But it was special before uh, that week, and um, it's now uh, again pretty special. Played an exceptional game. So we had the situation again with changes. So who do you take off? Is it Robo, who played the second game in a row pretty much after a long, long break, or is it 
corner, side in the end for a corner. Robbo can maybe manage it with his experience slightly better. Um, yeah, very impressive, absolutely. At the back. Ali was ill last week and is injured this week. There's absolutely no other ideas behind if, if Ali wouldn't have been ill and wouldn't have been injured now, Ali would have played. So, no, we've had already enough games this year to have kind of rhythm. So, goalies are a different breed to other people. So, they keep that would have been. No, it was not in my plans to play Blue, no, whatever. Or, how I said, we play the game, we play with all focus and all attention and don't think about other things. It might be not the smartest way, it's just the only way I know. Um, but he was outstanding. He was outstanding. So I don't know exactly to be honest, who is the number one at Ireland, but um, if they have a better goalie than him, I have to say respect. Um, it's, um, it's outstanding and um, this year we gave him more games than he had um, previously. That's well deserved because we we need him and we need him with rhythm. And now the situation around Ali shows that that makes absolutely sense. Um, we will see how long is Ali out, but the Kweef is exceptional. Today he was wow. That was an A plus performance. Last one here. Yeah, Jürgen. After the game, you shared a really nice moment with Ivan Tony. What did you say to him? Uh, I was more like smiling at him. He's obviously a, a, quite a handful and really tricky. I used a different word, but it's really the tricky to play against him. Obviously, yeah. And I think he's a, if I'm, if I'm a writer, he's a Liverpool supporter. He's not shy to saying that. Uh, yeah, yeah. Like, and I can admit it as well. So, yeah, we spoke a little bit about that, and uh, he wished me good luck for my time after um, these things here. Was anyway, a lot of people said it. A lot of players said it. It's not necessary, but it's nice anyway. So, but nobody has to worry. I will find something, a place to to watch Premier League. Um, so that was it. it. Was a nice conversation we had with Jana as well. Um, I think as well. So it was. Um, this is a. That's is the strange thing in football. This is probably one of the nicest teams, coaching stuff, everything you can face. You play against them, you want to knock them down every five seconds because it's just annoying, and it's like really like that because everything is set up to make you really look rubbish and um, but around that it's a really it's a great club and um, I like everything about it just not playing them that's it